If I could get everybody's attention, we'll go ahead and get started this morning. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out this morning. And for some opening remarks, I'd like to uh, turn it over to our Mayor, Mayor Jackie Wilson. Good morning. Good morning. This is an exciting time in the city of Douglas. We've really been looking forward to this. It's needed to be done for a long time. Um, we've had finally got somebody on board that could take it and run with it. The city manager, Terrell Jacobs, and Charlie, our own Charlie, <laughs> stepped in and has really worked hard to get this program going. And um, we, I know all the people in the community is excited about it because they're telling me so. And I'm excited about it. I've already been hauling things around in my car for two or three days because I forget to unload them. But, but I'll get better at it. Uh, we want to welcome all of our visitors here today. And we want to welcome all the people in the community that came out. We're certainly proud that we have our partners here with us today. And Charlie will be introducing them later on in the program. But we want to thank you for participating in the recycling. And I know we're going to have bigger and better days in it. For our invocation, I'd like to call on our commissioner, uh, Johnny Roper, to come give our um, invocation this morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's a pleasure to be here this morning to do this invocation. And I trust that the people that, that they watch this interview well, pay close attention to it. They take trash, pass, plastic balls, and maybe they'll put bags in the automobiles if they travel along the highways and not throw it out on the road and put it in a bag and then bring it down here and put it in the dump. So we got them out in convenient form and uh, it can help keep our city clean. This is what we want. And we need that along with more love. We don't have enough love. And we have too much invitation love, you know. It's almost like coffee. You know, one day you're grinding, and the next day you got it, you just pour it in a glass and put hot water on it. But this is what we are happening in our community, and we need more love. Let us pray. Thy gracious Father, we stand here this morning with bow heads and on my heart. Ask you, our Heavenly Father, forgive us our sins. Forgive us for all our sins, our Heavenly Father. Kill us dead in our sins and make us alive in Jesus Christ. Come into our hearts and be our Lord and Savior. Jesus, we can't get along without you, thy Heavenly Father. We want you, thy Heavenly Father, to hold our hands while we walk through this tedious journey. We ask you, thy Heavenly Father, to be with all of the city this morning. Be with them every day, thy Heavenly Father. Teach them how to love, thy Heavenly Father. We know that you teach them, thy Heavenly Father, that teaching won't be in vain. Thy Heavenly Father, teach them how to be truthful to one another. Thy Heavenly Father, first you be true to yourself, then you'll learn to be true to others. Thy Heavenly Father, feel our care this morning. Take us in your arms, thy heavenly Father, and lead us to a height that is higher than I. Thy heavenly Father, we can say a charge to keep our house. A God to glorify, another dying soul to save and fit it for the sky. To serve the present age, our calling to fulfill. Oh, may it all my power engage to do my master's will. Thy heavenly Father, I want to thank you this morning. And when I go into my room, thy heavenly Father, and lay my garments by. Not to come back at the outside world. I have no father. I should give me a home somewhere in that kingdom. I can pray the name forever. The Sabbath have no end. Amen. 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 Doesn't sound like another service this morning. Uh, we have a special guest uh, today that flew in all the way from Atlanta. He's our uh, Buster the Brown Trasher. He's kind of our state uh, state trash bird there. And I want to thank you for flying down this morning. I hope your flight was good there. Um, before I get started uh, in some of my opening comments, I'd like to go ahead and, and, and thank our partners. Uh, we would not be recycling today if it wasn't for certain members of certain organizations. Uh, starting off this, uh, at our local transfer station, I'd like to welcome you, Corey Henderson, uh, to our program this morning. Uh, Don Collins, which is the Municipal Market Manager for our Waste Industries. Uh, we have Mike Engel, which is the Senior Vice President of Waste Industries. Uh, Luann uh, Chambers, which is the Regional Procurement Manager for SP Recycling, uh, which is a subsidiary of SP Newsprint. And I would like to take this time to thank y'all. And we have Randy Hartman from DCA from our state office there. And we want to uh, take this time to thank you for coming down today. And they will have some comments in, in, in a little while. Uh, just a few opening remarks here. 
Um, you know, it's kind of an honor to be able to stand before you today and introduce this program because it's very few times that we have can introduce an idea or a concept or a topic that has no natural enemies, has no controversy about it. You know, recycling is one of those things that everybody, whatever line, whatever group, whatever social economics, whatever political party affiliation, it's one idea that everybody can support because nobody wants a landfill, you know, and if you uh, love this earth that God has given us, it's just a natural thing to do to recycle this thing instead of uh, putting it in the landfill. And um, our, our recycling products will go to some local industries that are made, um, make product here in Georgia, and so it's also to supporting the uh, local Georgia uh, economy. Uh, about nine months ago, we started talking about the idea of can we recycle. You know, we tried it 10 years ago, and uh, we had some uh, short-term success on it, then it fizzled. Uh, so we started, you know, trying to put together a plan that could, uh, that could be sustainable. And as that time went on, we started getting a lot of emails and phone calls. And like I said, this is the first time that we've had this much public support uh, for recycling. So the time is right uh, to introduce Douglas Recycling. So we contacted Corey Henderson uh, with Waste Industries there and said, man, we got to get into recycling. And so he made contacts with Don Collins. We started working on the plan. Uh, Don started working with Mike Engel and uh, with Lou Ann Chambers. They got the green light to introduce this program. And we're here today to announce that we're open for business in the recycling program. And I'm going to turn this over this time with, to Anthony Kirkland, our public works director. He's going to talk about some of the ins and outs about the program. And then we'll be introducing the other members here. Good morning. How y'all doing? Well, we're back recycling again. And I did. I thought it, it it done good last time. I think that the basis of recycling was kind of short lived. Um, I always thought it was a good thing to do. And I challenge everybody that's watching this to go see a landfill in action. See just how much stuff goes into a landfill. You'll be shocked. Trust me. You need to go see a landfill and just how much material goes into it. And if after looking at that, if you don't think this is a good idea, there's nothing wrong with you because this is a way to go. Because of, uh, eventually a landfill has to fill up. It's got to be put somewhere else. You got to put it somewhere and you definitely don't want it in your backyard and nobody else does either. So this definitely helps cut down on how much goes into a landfill. And we have, we're offering three locations Right here, as you see, this is open from eight to five. We also have down at the Gordon Street Fire Department, which is open 24 hours a day. And also we have one at the airport fire department open 24 hours a day. So this gives you opportunity to put your stuff in, a, in it in, in a convenient way and uh, gives you all hours. And, and just I just hope everybody gets behind this. And uh, we're offering this to you and I think it's gonna be up to the public to make this thing work. And if you'll get behind it, and Charlie mentioned the other day, and, and, and it got me thinking, once you get into this, it gets in your mind, and everything you see, you start seeing recyclables. And, and, and directly, it, it just gets stuck there. Every time you go to throw something in a trash can, it's, it's, you say, wait a minute, hey, this, this can be recycled. So I just hope that everybody gets behind this, and all Coffee County folks bring the recyclables up here and let's, let's make this thing work. And I, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Carson Lumber and Building Supplies on the Broxton Highway in Douglas, your neighborhood home center for building materials. From start to finish, you'll find everything you need for your next project, whether small or large at Carson Lumber. We have the latest in custom cabinetry, a wide selection of brick and stonework, interior and exterior door units, molding, as well as vinyl, wood, and metal window units. We also carry a full line of treated, untreated, and specialty lumber, as well as plywoods. For those difficult projects, we have a full mill workshop and also offer custom fabricated and engineered roof trusses. So come see the smiling faces today at Carson Lumber and Building Supplies or call the lumber number at 912-384-1312. That's 912-384-1312, where we help you build and service our number one goal. Hidden behind Coffee Regional Medical Center is a state-of-the-art wellness facility which captures the essence of a metropolitan fitness facility with the comfortable atmosphere of Southern hospitality. The Wellness Center offers circuit training equipment as well as treadmills, cross trainers, free weights, and an indoor walking track. Group fitness classes are offered daily. Upon membership, each individual receives a health and fitness evaluation and a guided exercise program with our trained staff. Stop in for a tour and start your commitment to health today. 
At Colony Bank, we're dedicated to offering our customers the best service. Whether you're looking for a home, business, or personal loan, CD or checking account, or internet banking and online bill pay, we have them all. We're local people making local decisions. In fact, we're the oldest chartered financial institution in Coffee County. We'll be here for you day after day, year after year. It's community banking with the power to make the difference. Colony Bank, your bank, your bankers. At this time, I'd like to call Corey Henderson, our local transfer manager there for Waste Industries. I'm, I'm a little shorter than Charlie. I'm, make sure y'all can see me over the podium here. Uh, it's just been a privilege to, to get this thing going here because there's so many communities out there that say, hey, we want to recycle. And they say, well, okay, well, let's do it. Well, how do we do that? I don't know, we'll talk about it next week. But I'm telling you, that's not what happened here in the city of Douglas. Uh, Charlie and, and, and Mr. Jacobs contacted us, said, hey, we want to recycle. And I'm like, all right, well, let me make some contacts made a few contacts and that wasn't good enough for them they wanted to i mean it, they were ready to start it right then and that's what sets the city of douglas apart from a lot of communities i feel is because if you put action after whatever you after what you plan you know a lot of people can you can make a really good plan but you got to follow through with it and put some action into it and that's what the city of douglas has done an outstanding job of here today uh, charlie was wanting me to mention also what we were just talking about was uh, we've got these six recycled dumpsters right here but also a lot of the uh, local businesses, if you have enough uh, recyclables such as cardboard or plastics, we also have the opportunity to be able to put a dumpster at your site uh, so that we can also collect those and, and help those uh, contribute to the, uh, to the recycle, the, the tonnage of the recycling. Um, it is still in the early stages. Uh, I would like to think that the best is, is by far yet to come. Uh, we would, you know, I think the biggest thing that's gonna help this thing is participation. You know, we can, you know, everyone that's sitting here right now can, can recycle a little bit and do okay. But if you could add 30% to it, uh, you know, look behind, look around you, look beside you. If you put, you know, put 30% more people out here, if they did it, that's how much more recycles go in there. And uh, just as Anthony just said, that's how much less goes into a landfill. So uh, we're just very honored to be uh, be able to work with the city of Douglas and SP. Uh, I'd like to thank SP for coming down. It's uh, it's a you know Forest Park Atlanta is a is a far fetch. So uh, we have really made an, an innovative uh, discovery here, if you will. Uh, we're going to make it work in, in rural South Georgia. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. And at this time, I'd like to call upon Don Collins, the Municipal Marketing uh, Manager for Waste Industries. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Uh, I work with cities and counties throughout the state to talk about solid waste issues and, and recycling. And, uh, you know, the city of Douglas, when you compare it to maybe Columbus or Macon or Atlanta, seems like it might be a small town. But the truth is, you are in a leadership position and truly a beacon and uh, in a leadership role with the rest of the state because you have started a program that other cities are still just thinking about. It's a lot of logistics that have to be worked out to get a program going, and the commitment of the staff and the elected officials here in the city of Douglas uh, have been fantastic, and uh, we're excited to, to, to kick off the program today. Now, putting business aside, for me personally, uh, recycling is about conservation. It's about conserving natural resources. And when you send recyclables to a manufacturer like SP Recycling, they take those recyclables and they make new products. And what's great about it is when they make product from recycled product, they use a le less energy, less electricity, less gas than they would use to process a raw material. And so that saves uh, carbon release in the environment um, and it saves the natural resources as far as trees. And that's a very exciting thing and it's very important to me personally and my kids and my grandkids. And that's why uh, recycling is so important and, uh, and I'm excited that the city of Douglas has uh, taken the position that it has.